It's no secret, Europe hosts some of the most creative and innovative basketball in all the world. And today, we'll take a deep dive into one of our favorite playbooks from Germany. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for all the latest updates. At the helm of the Niners is Rodrigo Pastore, who helped lead them to a 25-2 record this year in German's Pro-A division. There are five actions we'll look at, shuffle, shallow cut, Iverson, gut dribble handoffs, and pick and roll off ball movement. Their shuffle screen action flows nicely into both a middle pick and roll and a Spain pick and roll, as we'll see. This opening clip shows the initial action with a great screen, pass, and catch for a layup. Pay attention now as they flow deeper into the set at the five man setting the three separate screens before sprint rolling to the rim. What makes this set so hard to guard are the multiple screens and decisions the defenders must navigate through. Let's first take a look at the shuffle cut defender. After navigating through the screen, he immediately becomes the low help side defender, having to help on the roll man and then close out on the shooter on the wing. And if we look at it a little deeper, look at the defending five man and the responsibilities he has. Help on the shuffle, show out on the on ball, recover back to the five, close out on the shooter, and then hopefully try and go secure a rebound. Another way that Chemnitz ends their shuffle series is with Spain action, an on ball with a back screener by a shooter. And as all coaches know, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. A high school buddy of the Spain action is the shallow cut. Not quite a family member, but your dad makes you call him uncle. The difference between Spain action and the shallow cut is there's no back screen being set by the shooter. Instead, the shooter is cutting underneath the on ball action at the top and replacing that action as the screen and roll is taking place. Smart coaches like Coach Pastore always put their shooter in the shallow cut spot, which creates indecision on the defender's part on whether to help on the roller or to stay with their shooting responsibilities, as we'll see here in this clip. All it takes is a split second of indecision by the defender to either help on the roller or stay with the shooter coming back to the top for the offense to take advantage and make the right decision. The next set of interesting and creative actions from the Niners comes from an Iverson cut. This is an increasingly popular set in Europe and beyond. An Iverson cut over the top into a two-man game. If nothing is in the two-man game, then the ball is swung back to the point guard and leads right into a step-up screen. As that guard comes over the top, if he sees the defender cheating, he always has the ability to rip baseline. Notice the great off-ball movement from the other players. A nice late game set here, where instead of the four following the ball for a two-man game, he spaces and eventually leads into a middle ball screen. A nice variation in this series is the twist Ricky action, where the two bigs will twist and pop, the guard will follow for a handoff, and then a re-screen from the big. Such a difficult overall action to guard as the bigs are never quite in position to guard the on ball or the handoff, leading to switches, mismatches, or late help. And a great variation on this play is faking the twist action and going right into a pin down screen for the shooter. These sets are hard to guard on their own, but what makes them special is the attention to detail, the timing, the angles, and the pace in which they play with. One of my favorite actions, and one that's so difficult for teams to guard, is the gut dribble handoff, or a dribble handoff in the middle of the floor with the shooter or guard coming from under the rim. 
If the shooter does a good job of using the screen, his defender is almost always trailing, forcing the big to have to show and help. And once a big has to show and help in the middle of the floor, there's advantages everywhere for throwbacks and extra passes. What coaches need to teach the guard coming up to get the gut dribble handoff is if the defender is going over the top to just use the screen and go downhill. If the defender goes under the screen, the big can set a re-screen and the same action can take place. And here, perhaps one of my favorite sets, just as they're getting used to guarding the action, an inverted pick and roll for the big. At the professional and collegiate level, with scouting and advanced analytics, deep in the season, teams will be able to take you out of your best stuff. But what the Niners are so good at is getting to their spread pick and roll no matter what their series and having great off-ball movement. Cutters from the corner anytime someone turns their head, flares, 45 cuts to the rim. They're constantly moving in that pick and roll action, making it so hard for defenders to navigate low help and the high help. The Niners went 25-2 in 2019 because they have good players, they run good stuff with a really good coach. What stuck out most to me in this deep dive is how fundamentally sound this team was and how much they understood their own roles. The right guys took the right shots from the right spots over and over and over again. For future deep dive studies, please make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on Slapping Glass.